All right, so uh, this week the students are working on welding and testing uh, of welds. And so they're learning about non-destructive testing and destructive testing methods. Um, so yesterday we went over non-destructive testing and explained the different processes and, and when we use them. And they did a couple hands-on demonstrations. And so today we're on destructive testing. And so what I did today, this morning was took a six inch, 6G test, uh, downhill and uphill, halfway, and using API 1104 codebook, we are gonna destructively test it. So we got two face bends, two root bends, uh, two tensile tests, and two nick breaks that we're gonna do today. Um, you know, we like to show the students hands-on and get a visual. It's one thing to sit there and talk about things, but what does it look like? What happens when you do this? And so, hopefully I don't fail. We'll find out. So real quick before we get going here, I explained kind of what we're doing here, but just for all the trolls out there, I got one message for you. Okay, I understand we're not following a procedure here. All we're doing is showing the students three destructive testing methods from a code book, okay? I just wanted to throw that disclaimer out there real quick. Lighten up, folks. That was very Minnesota of me. Oh. Okay, so what we bent here is the, the root side of the uphill side. We can see we got one flaw there. And being we're allowed an eighth of an inch. Where's my stick at? We're good so far. Now this is the root side of the downhill. pretty nice and clean on that side now we're gonna do start doing the face bends this is the uphill side nice and clean and the face side of the downhill weld tiny nick there but that's definitely not an eighth of an inch so sorry to say it folks so as you're looking for Brandon to fail not today no. oh we got two nick breaks to go though dang it all right we'll move on to the tensile side of things now got our gauge zeroed out Once 
you're going to see is it's going to start stretching. You see it stretching? Now it's deforming. Okay, and so what we'll do is we'll take this data and we are going to figure out the ultimate tensile strength of that. So my class, who can tell me what happened there when that thing started to deform? It hit its yield point and then broke. If you guys haven't seen it, go ahead and get in close. It's not slipping, is it? See it stretching? There she blows. Pretty close. Pretty close to the same. So we'll do the calculations later in the board for that. Now we got the dreaded nick brake test to do. Okay, so for a nick brake side of things, we take a saw and we're cutting into the weld intentionally. We're gonna put it in our makeshift uh, nick brake device here, pull down on it and break that weld. Who's feeling strong today? Steven? You get it on the pipe, make sure you're... Yeah, you wanna get a good bite on it. Don't go all the way down. Other way. Okay. Oh, there she blows. Uh oh. What's that look like? Looks like a slide inclusion. Which one is it? Uphill? Downhill. So that's that's case in point. The best way we can test a weld is destructively test it. It can be pretty as all get out on the outside until you break it. Did we only have one? Might only had one. So that concludes our lesson.